what's up guys lightning here uh, just starting off this video saying uh, sorry I've been inconsistent and I haven't been uploading recently uh, I joined a streamers discord so I wasn't able to just stream or uh, to record the videos the way I was before because I was streaming them in the discord call to try to learn more because uh, I realized I wasn't good enough and I wasn't going to learn fast enough uh, on my own without some help like this uh, and as you can tell by the title of this video, I learned and got good enough to hit legend. Um, hopefully, now that I've worked worked out the recording issues, the computer issues, the editor issues, and now some of the life issues, um, I can finally start uploading one to two videos a week. Uh, is the goal. Uh, I can't really make any promises, but th that's that's the goal. That's the goal. So let's get into this. All right, so I'm showing you guys the team that I piloted to get my to Legends using Electrode, Medicham, and Wigglytuff. Um, Electrode is a good lead most of the time. It's a very neutral lead. Uh, you don't have to worry about being hard countered by much of anything. Um, so as you see here, I'm building up to five volt switches, which is threatening a hyper beam. Uh, but usually what I try to do to try to pull a shield, but I like the foul play and not actually having the hyper beam for the uh, Galarian, Slowbro, and Slowking matchup. So here I just try to see how much volt switch damage I can do because I know they're going to take me out with a cross poison. Uh, I try to counter down. I'll pull off a lunge. Uh, I'll just tank a lunge. They switch out with their own. I'm like, all right, I don't have to switch out into anything. They just wanted to save it. I'm assuming they think they're weak to it, or that I'm weak to it, sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna keep tapping my scream, charm to charm, on this electrode, uh, shit it up the discharge, one charm, take out the Ariados, and I'm gonna guess it was probably Ariados, uh, electrode, and Medi. And the Medi can't do much at all against the Charmer, especially with shields down uh, and less energy. So again, I'm building up to the Hyper Beam in this. Uh, they fall for the bait uh, she, and shield it up. I just let the Power Up Punches go. Just throwing the Discharge now that they know I've got it. Uh, I'm kind of happy that they actually throw their energy on me in this case. Because I want them to be down as much as possible. I come up with the wiggly tough, seeing if I can snipe. Uh, this is not enough energy for a psychic, which is again what made me happy that they threw their energy before. Uh, they come up with a crustle, um, which is like meh matchup against the wiggly tough. Uh, but I'm just saving two shields for my Metacham and Electrode. Yeah, this game is done. They can't do anything. I just have to start shielding up the discharges, just power up punching. Uh, I probably could have thrown up those power punches sooner. I was just worried. And then I realized, oh yeah, done. Uh, so against this current season legend, we have Talonflame, hard countering them there, hard countering with bringing in the Wigglytuff. Uh, just got to do the simple count. Is it Psychic? Is it Pup? Doesn't matter. I'm just not going to shield it. Just charm down. I'm not going to bother to waste a shield on it. Uh, this gives the Talon Flame less farm and I was actually able to get off this Ice Beam which is huge. Uh, no shield it because I knew they could take it and the Electrode's much more threatening. Uh, they go and dip and I'm like alright I'm just going to throw this Discharge in the Alola Mola. Uh, Try to get off another one. I just want a little bit of extra damage if I can, but I pulled both shields, which is like, all right, this is enough. I don't need to get uh, waterfall down, let us a little while uh, switch in my Metacham. Uh, uh, I don't know why I didn't build up to the Psychic, I'll be honest. Uh, but in this case, yeah, now I'm just gonna straight up just pop down everything. I could have psychic and then pop this thing, but it's whatever. Uh, yeah, and then they just know. I could pop down, I could just throw the psychic, it doesn't matter. I was, I was boosted up. 
another current season legend. Uh, Medicham into my electrode. They're just going to keep punching me. I'm going to build up to my hyper beam. And they throw an ice punch. I don't see ice punch on too, too many of the meta chans. Um, I prefer pop psychic root for myself. Um, just because it's nice to just pop up and get a boosted psychic into something like a Galarian slow bro, even a regular slow bro. Um, something that's like semi walling a meta jam. Uh, so I'm gonna I come in, I try to counter down because the energy on the Metacham is so much nicer than like, you know, on anything else. Uh, I'm just gonna end up double psychicking this Alola Mola. Uh, see if I can pull the shields. If not, it really doesn't matter as much, but they should shield something soon. Uh, I'm just gonna take this psychic, that's no big deal. And then yeah, Electrode. They're probably going to have to shield a uh, play rough if they didn't uh, throw the discharge. Ah, it's whatever. They, they throw a double discharge. And then, yeah, I could just punch this thing down and Metacham uh, psychic it. That was really weird. Uh, I'll have to check my editor again, but I need to get something up, man. I really need to get something up. All right. So switch into my Metacham. Uh, this Psychic, this, because it's neutral, which is nice, because Psychic versus Psychic, Poison is weak to Psychic, so it ends up being neutral on the slow bro. Uh, the Poison and the Psychic is resisting the pups, so there's no reason to throw that. Uh, I'm just not gonna bother to shield the Sludge Bomb, get off this another Psychic, because I knew I lived. Uh, should be coming in here with the Electro, just trying to Volt Switch down before they get off another Sludge Bomb, which is great. Uh, I come with the Licky. I think I just take this Body Slam, yeah. Get off this. Try, hopefully they're worried about it being Hyper Beam. And they are. Just perfect. Uh, I didn't mean to do that one extra Volt Switch, but I don't think it matters too much. Uh... Now, Wigglytuff versus Lickitung is actually pretty good because uh, the Wigglytuff is part normal and the Licks aren't going to do much damage at all. Uh, I'm not too worried about this. Uh, a little sad that um, they were able to get off that extra pop, but it's not the end of the world. I'll just play rough this. Charm, 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 it down. Uh, this is why I like Wigglytuff more than the other Charmers. Um, it's the normal type. It sucks that it's neutral against the fighting, rather than resisting like a lot of the other Charmers. Oh, like, 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 like. Uh, throw off this Discharge before they throw a Rock Tomb. Because if they throw a Rock Tomb and I get debuffed, they're definitely no shielding. They wouldn't shield before. Uh, this one clearly is Stone Edge. No one's running double Rock. It's you need the uh, overheat nuke, but uh, ooh, they switched in. Are they gonna call it as a pop? Yeah, they think it's a pop. Suckers. Sometimes you just need to go straight for the psychic. Most of the time, I like to go straight for the psychic. I don't like baiting too too often, but that's just my own like personal play. Uh, Thrown here in the middle of that confusion. Throw in the psychic. They'll just tank it because you know they can. Um, I wouldn't have made it to a pup and then a psychic, so it's the proper thing to throw. Um, if you can throw one, obviously, uh, if you can throw one of each, obviously throw the pup and then the psychic, unless uh, you're gonna try to kill them with just the psychic alone, and then I just charm down uh, that slow bro on the back. The the charmers put in a lot of work. I've since switched it out uh, for something else, just because I find the amount of poison. It's kind of ridiculous. Actually, freaking ridiculous. Aridos everywhere. Some Scolipede. I even ran into a triple bug team a few times the other day. It was nuts. Uh, so, do, getting off the Psychic and the little Mola should do, yeah, about half. Uh, 
I'm just gonna let this go. There's no point in shielding just to get a pup off. I was just trying to hit the pup for extra chip damage. Uh, get this off. I'm coming out with a gist charge is actually pretty big here. Uh, it's actually good I didn't get that pup off. Uh, da -da -da, yeah, just charming the Medicham. Uh, shouldn't be worried about this. I don't believe they built up to the psychic. Uh, this should also this should be the ooh, yeah screw it. I think it should also be and then they they realize that they can't lick me down. They can't. The licks are just doing nothing. Uh, as you can see in this, there's a lot of like X legends that I'm fighting uh, on the way up to legend myself. Um, so for some reason I didn't throw uh the move early which is annoying um they overheat and dip i hardly ever see that it's it's honestly really weird um i shield this in case it's a psychic uh because they're not getting off a psychic uh a pup and a psychic or two or two psychics um but they are able to get off two egg punches uh they come in you know they're resisting my charms I try to get off the ice beam. It's not doing too hot. <laughs> Pun not intended. Uh, I figure they're going to overheat and dip again. Yeah, and uh, Medicham will just clean it up. Uh, Scrafty stands no chance at all against the Medicham. They can just straight foul play me. They can pop up all they want. They could, they're not doing shit. I just pop up and up and up. Uh, and there's still bubbles. Yeah, it's whatever. They probably don't realize that I can just pop and pop and pop. Uh, or they're just throwing the game to give a expert a little extra chance of getting a legend. Uh, who the fuck knows? Who knows? Uh, so that was it. That was the game. I went into that game thinking that I was 2-2 and I had to win it. I thought I had to win that game to be a legend. Uh, and then I come out of it and I'm there stunned that I'm sitting 4-1. 4-1 on my way to legend. Oh, it, this is the first time I've hit legend since preseason. I played preseason, I got to ten, rank 10, and then I like basically stopped playing it. I would play like here and there, uh, but like nothing, and boom, you see me take the screenshot. I finally got to legend again oh it's it was so nice it was so nice i had a lot of catching up to do a lot to learn oh, massive shout out to the the big ml discord uh as like this is my last set of the day my last set of the day uh next day i did the pico libre set and uh it wasn't shiny it was, it was my first set too i got i went 4-1 in my next set too i think uh, yeah, just checking out the pose. I freaking love that pose. The walk pose. Looking straight on is just like so badass. Oh, yeah. So nice. Alright, guys. I'm out. Uh, hopefully, I can start uploading videos more often. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Peace.